Alright, greetings to you all, family, and welcome to the channel. It's your brother, Prince Ayoko, sending my greetings to you from Queen's Guest House, located in Tamale, the northern uh, part of Ghana. How are you doing? How is your morning going? And to some, how is your afternoon going? Um, once again, as I always tell you, uh, this particular project is a technical university. It is a technical university because um, a lot of people are learning from this project, including me. I also learn a lot from you know, people who work here. I learn so much from people who work here. So um, the updates about today's video is all about uh, this project with regards to the continuation of what we are doing. The last time, remember I showed you the bricks that we were making and I told you that we, we needed about 3,000 bricks for the building of the three septic tanks uh, for the guest rooms as well as, you know, the fence wall. So now um, there was a shortage of the river sand and uh, for the past couple of days, I've been able to uh, get the river sand and now they are continuing with the bricks but now they are making bricks for the septic tanks so as you can see this is the bricks that they are making for the septic tank so this particular brick is six inches uh, it's a six inches brick so it's six inches by uh, eight inches by 18 inches so it's six by eight by uh, sorry, 6 by 9 by 18. You understand? That's the actual measurement of brick here. But this particular 6 inches is used to uh, build cisterns, uh, that is underground water tanks, as well as um, septic tanks. Because it has, uh, you know, it, it is much stronger than the 5 inches bricks. So, as you can see, that's what uh, this uh, my, my uncles and fathers are doing. But that's how they do it. When they do it this way, then they will take it over there and then just, you know, take it out from the box, the, the, the brick box that they used to make it. And this is the man who makes it for them. He's mixing it, he's mixing the river sand together with the cement. You can see the first septic tank is nearly completion it is nearly completion the reason why it's not completed is because there was a shortage of the six inches bricks and that is what I showed earlier on in this video that is what they are making so it's actually two chambers this is the first chamber and then over there is the second chamber so they are going to put some two more cores on top of this that I'm, uh, this bricks, this wall that I'm standing on, they're going to put some two more cores here before uh, the carpenter will come, and then uh, when it's dried, we'll cover up all these spaces. We'll cover up all these spaces, and then the carpenter will come and make wooden frames, and then we'll put some iron rods on top of it, and then make the concrete floor for it. You understand? Uh, we call it decking. Make the concrete uh, decking on top of it, or cast in place concrete on top of it so that it will be complete you understand and when we do it this place is going to have one door the other side is going to have one door 
So this particular place is going to have three ventilation PVC pipes. And the other side is also going to have three ventilation PVC pipes. So that the smell of the waste will not be too, like worrying people. You understand? So um, the PVC pipe is also going to go uh, above the roof. So that the, all the smells will be going you know, very far. It will, it will not be any quite closer to uh, the, the, the guest rooms. Said that the smells can get into the guest rooms or into the guest house. So that's just one plan about it that I'm sharing with you. And it is a, it is very a, it is a very important tip that I'm also sharing with you. So that's how it is, as you can see. And now I'm going to take you for you to see how they are working on the second septic tank. They started digging it today, and these men <laughs> are not joking. They are working like machines. That is the power of the Dagomba man. That is the power of the Dagomba king. I'm going to take you through for, for you to see what these three kings are doing. So that is the that is the um the second septic tank. You understand? That's the second septic tank for the project. And it's coming along. They started it this morning. They're gonna dig it six feet deep. So it's actually six feet. Six feet are uh, is um is uh, is five feet. I like I don't know five feet. So I just asked to be very clear about the measurement. Because when they were measuring it, I wasn't around. Okay, so I'm um, I'm gonna use the tape measure to to measure it. Okay, so five feet, five inches. It's five feet, five inches. So, and this place is 20 feet. 20 feet. So that is it. So it's five feet, five by 20 feet. So five feet, five inches by 20 feet. And it's, I make it very long because this place has four guest rooms. One, two, three, four. And all of it is gonna, you know, all the waste of it is gonna be here. And it's only waste for the toilets, not the showers or the kitchens. The showers and the kitchens has to have its own uh, septic tanks. So that is what is going on, a little bit. So this is pure gravel. This is just pure gravel. Very, very good gravel. You see how lucky I am. When this place is finished, I was going to buy out of when they finish all this, I would have to buy gravel to fill up this place. But now let's look at what God is doing. <laughs> The Almighty Creator is making everything possible for me. Clean heart space. And now I'm going to just give you some two bonus from this video. I'm going to show you how our plants is progressing. And I'm going to show you how happy they are at their new home. As you know, they are in safe hands. So they are just, you know, flowing. The winds is just making it to flow and be happy. You see how they are flowing. You see how they are. Yes, the plants are really feeling happy, especially with my beautiful cactus. <laughs> I love it. I love the plants. <laughs> Thank you.
This song is from Sharif Gali and he said Zol Kwele. Sharif Gale is making my day with reggae. Take you through the last bonus of the videos, and that's you know making you check on the bounces because it's been a while since you see them. The bosses has missed you. The bosses, the bosses has missed you so much. The bosses has missed you so much. As you can see them. And once again, it's business time. It's business time. <laughs> You know, as as the the the, the, is, uh, the Islamic, you know, as the Islamic Eid is getting closer, uh, business is about to boom even the, the more. So to some of you who want this sheep for your various occasions, either your funerals, your your weddings, your naming ceremonies, uh, the Eid festival, you just want them for meat, whatever. They are strictly for business. Just contact Prince Ayoko, whichever way you can, and your animal will get to you. I will have the money, and your animal will get to you. As you see, I, I know I've already sold one of them. And just waiting. People actually want to buy, but I want good price. You understand? <laughs> so that's the process, as you see there. You see that they have grown some more big. They are eating a lot. I'm going to show you some more of them. Um, yeah, there are just two here. Oh, there are actually three. So that's the bounces. This one is having a problem with the leg, so I'm still treating it. I'm, I'm still treating him. So that's the bounces. Hey. Hey. This is where I'm going to end today's video. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your patience. And thank you so much for your wonderful support, ideas, motivations, you know, courageous words, your prayers, and, you know, the love and care that you showed me and my family. I love you all. I love you all. And I pray that the Almighty God and the ancestors will continue to keep us united will continue to give us more strength 
and will continue to protect us from our known and unknown enemies. I don't consider myself to have an enemy because it is my heart that guides me. So that is how I live my life. You understand? I don't pray bad for no one. All I pray is for good for everyone. Simple. I pray for all of us to be strong. I pray that the Almighty God will grant us with good health, long life, abundance of wisdom, abundance of prosperity, and you know, abundance of knowledge and patience. This is what I pray for mankind. This is what I pray for humanity. And I pray the same thing for myself as well. Thank you all for your time. Thank you all for your patience. Till we meet again, it's your brother, Prince Ayoku, sending my greetings to you from Tamale, Northern Ghana. Stay blessed, stay focused, stay strong, and you know, be positive. Keeps the vibe going, you understand? Positive vibrations. Blessed love to you. Peace and one love. <laughs>